If you're using Zoom webinars as opposed to Zoom meetings, you can use both if you've got Zoom webinars, then you can control who you see on the screen. They're called a panelist and you can have up to 50 of them. That way your attendees can just see them. In a meeting, you can pretty much see anybody who's in on the meeting, which you might not want to do if it's a webinar or a lesson. So you might just want to see the teacher or perhaps some other people who are involved in it as well. So you need to create the panelists. You can also turn an attendee into a panelist as well. So they could be seen. So if someone's got something to add, you can add them in. And we're going to take a look at that right now. So to do that, I've got my virtual Photoshop workshop here. I'm going to click on it. And down here at the bottom, it has got the invitations. And next to it, it's got invite panelists. So let's click on edit here and we can add them in. As I said, you can have up to 50 panelists. So let's just add in his email address. And let's do the next one here. Let's do Lisa. And you can see every time I add one in and I start typing, it brings up the next panelist below. I can click on add another panelist if I like and another again, but it fills it in automatically. Once I've done that, you can see down at the bottom here, it says send invitation to all newly added panelists immediately. So the moment I hit save, it sends them an invitation. It's got a different link to the ones that the attendees have. Okay, so when I hit save, it does that. So let's just do that. Right, I'm going to start this webinar by clicking on this button at the top here. I could go into Zoom and open it there, but this will start up Zoom and launch it as well. So let's just click on Allow. If I just join with my audio, let's just mute it. Otherwise, it's going to make an awful racket on the other computer here. So I've started it and now I'm just waiting for some attendees here. So I have got my panelists. They would join and they would appear here as they log in. And hey, presto, an attendee should be appearing. Because what I wanted to show you is that when I go to the attendees here, there's one here, happens to be me on my iPad. If I go to more, so you see the one thing I could do is allow them to talk. Okay, but if I want to, I can turn them into a panelist. So I can promote to panelist here and they rejoin it. And there they are, they appear right here. So there we go, that's how you can do that. You can also, if you've got someone and you want to change it so they're not a panelist, if you hover over it, you can change them back to an attendee. Thanks for watching. That's how you add panelists into your Zoom webinar. So you can do it beforehand, which is very convenient, and they get an email. Or you can turn an attendee into a panelist, or any panelist, then back into an attendee. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more, please do subscribe in the link below, and you will find lots more videos, lots on Zoom, and many other things as well. Thanks for watching and stay safe.